Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are looking at Zigzag Ridge in this first picture. You can see that there's clouds and you can't really see the mountain. Just hike this at the end of September. But uh, you'll see a contrast between uh, the summer hike that I did at the end of September. Up here you can see the bowl. I couldn't see the bowl at first when I got there. This was on the way down because I was fogged out. And you'll see some pictures where I do the same hike in the winter. But here you can see I'm up in the meadow getting close to the ridge. Clouds down low. Uh, this is the ridge line to the east. Uh, that's a zigzag ridge east and then this is up on the ridge itself uh, when I was up there and uh, to the south of the ridge you can see there that's uh, Capra Glacier lots of gorgeous lakes world-class hiking back there this is from the winter now you can see the bowl there of zigzag ridge and this is us when we went a couple years ago with a group of guys snowshoeing up to the bowl it's very always very cold up here uh, when you're snowshoeing especially in this bowl it's on the north side of the ridge you can't stop there for very long. Your your gloves freeze, your fingers freeze. This is up in the meadows now in that winter hike. And uh, soon you're going to see where we headed up to the ridge. This was on the way down uh, a couple years ago in the winter. Now this is that same ridge. Uh, this is looking eastward though in Capra Glacier to the right. Also looking kind of at Capra Glacier to the left there in the winter. Really beautiful area once again looking towards Capra. And that lake there is uh, Snowshoe Lake. And uh, yeah, so anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Elon, take us to Zigzag Ridge. All right, uh, we're here almost at the trailhead of Zigzag Ridge. This is uh, Lou's Road, heads to Crescent Spur. Somewhere up there is Zigzag Ridge in the clouds. There's Erg Mountain. I don't see any snow really up there, so I'm going to assume no snow up here. So therefore we're going to leave the snowshoes here and uh, we're going to get going on this hike. Let's do it. Making our way on the trail here. You can now see summertime version of this bridge that we cross in the winter. Ho ho! Not the safest bridge. All right, we're already here at the fork. This way and that way. We stay to the right. Looks very different in the summer with all the brush. More swampy and jungly. When I say swampy and jungly, this is what I mean right here. This kind of stuff. Jungly? Yep. Jungly. Better off just staying away from the road. I'm walking through this green mossy bush. Less stuff to push through. First major swamp crossing. Does it look different in the summer slash fall? You betcha. Very wet, swampy and overgrown. A lot more bushwhacking. And then, of course, you come across stuff like this. This ought to be fun to cross. All right, let's hope for the best.
very slippery logs, but I think we've got it. On the trail, I can see markers there and I can see people have been cutting stuff here. Those are the logs I crossed over right there. Let's head up. As you're going in here, lots of trees down, but also lots of clearing. So, all right, here on this big old logging road, heading, following this road now for a while. Sketch, but not bad. <laughs> the boards are shifting. Gonna need to watch it here. <laughs> Looks like I've done. Get out of here. Six foot two. Does not look different in the summer compared to winter? I think so. All right, this is where we turn off the road and head towards the big wall. Here comes the wall, you can see it. Now if that doesn't warm you up, make you sweat, nothing will. Woo! Popping down to the logging road, making good time. <sighs> Woo! Here we go. So you can see I'm on the trail. It's not really a trail because you're pushing through the stuff. But it is marked and cleared in some places. Working our way up the mountain. Looks like we're about to break open into the meadow, which is very cool. Hopefully it means most of our bushwhacking is over. Whew. Foggy up here right now. It's supposed to be clear by noon, hopefully, in an hour. We shall see. Fog of war. Pretty surreal. The bowl is right up there, but I can't see it because of all this fog. Zigzag Ridge is right there but we can't see it, unfortunately. Here's the lake, never seen that before. Pretty cool.
skipper. Hoping for that sun to push this fog away. It is trying to poke through. We'll head up the ridge and see what happens. So this is what it looks like at the base of Zigzag Ridge Bull. Woo! Woo! Now we're starting to see it. Look at those rays. Gorgeous. Pushing through. Is this not incredible? All that fog starting to disappear. Gorgeous. Pretty gorgeous up here on Zigzag Ridge. Fog is just starting to go. We're going to get some nice blue skies once we get up there. Look at those beams poking through from the sun. Getting up there. Into the Alpine. Woo! Gorgeous. Break out into the meadow. Look at these majestic mountains here. Big, huge bowl. There's a lake right down there. Let's try to head up this ridge. Up here on Zigzag Ridge. Soon we'll be up there. But uh, check out these mountains here. Huge, gigantic rocks. You can see the snow on the north side is kind of sticking there. And a nice little lake right there. At the bottom. And lots of fog. Little bits of snow, but mostly melted. All right. Just starting to summit here, and hello, beautifuls. What do we have here? Gorgeous views. Just gorgeous. Up here on top of Zigzag Ridge. Absolutely beautiful here. You can see Capra Glacier hiding right there. Not windy at all up here. In the winter, that's the ridge we went on a couple of years ago. Gorgeous view of Capra Glacier right there. All that fog just cleared right out. Beautiful. The epic views up here. Let's uh, walk this ridge line for a bit.
East Tennessee, I heard God speaking to me. He said, child, look all around. What a beautiful world it is. From the ground where we buried our loved ones, spring out. Willows and wildflowers now New life is found What a beautiful world it is Autumn on the mountainside Holding on to you so tight I know it now, I knew it then what a beautiful the papa. Look at that. Snowshoe Lake. Gorgeous view. I got Diggins Lake. I got the glacier. All with the drone. Oh, look at this. Everything's clearing up. Gorgeous. All right. And that is all she wrote. Up here on the ridge. I don't know if we can get any better views by walking around the edges here but uh oh yeah you can kind of see this wall here little lake right over there not too far capra glacier can almost taste it like a gorgeous area to walk through emerald lakes down there emerald colored lakes and uh, that'll be a wrap for us today world it is. my love wild as the flames from the sun Free as the river she runs And she brings back to mind What a beautiful world it is Autumn on the mountainside Holding on to you so tight I know it now, I knew it then what a beautiful world it is. Bye, bye. Fog moves and another gorgeous view. But our time is up. That looks like a big vortex. Didn't want to fall in there. This is what these meadows look like in the summertime. One more look at this sort of meadow. As we head down. There we go, all that fog is gone. And now we're back at the lake and you can see Zigzag Ridge, the big bowl. That's what is there. Go check out the lake. Woo!
gorgeous. Heading down. Beautiful lower meadow. All right, just following the edge of the meadow here and I'm gonna try to follow this creek as far as I can. Hopefully avoid brush and deadfall, but we'll see. As we make our way down, it's all pretty random for the most part. Just look for the least amount of bush. After bushwhacking most of the way down, I can see ribbons here, which means the trail goes right there. Which means hopefully bushwhacking is over. Well, it's nice to have the ribbons, don't have to think. Just follow like a lemming and uh, that's cool. If it goes off a cliff, it goes off a cliff. To our logging road, there's a grouse here on the trail up ahead. Right there. And heading down, pretty steep. As you can see, doing a number on the knees. But we'll take our time. And here we are going down the wall. The very steep hill I call the wall. Not as bad in the summer as in the winter for obvious reasons. Better grip. We just came down the wall, so the hardest parts are all behind us. Now, maybe three and a half, four kilometers, just kind of walking through old logging roads and stuff to get back to the car and we're done. All right, back on the road and this wasn't here when we started. Look what I found, moose horn. Huh. There she be. Beautiful colors. A little braver now. go crossing again in case other people come those logs but then there's a big log over there that one probably looks better and the trail marker goes over there all right we're here at the fork you can actually see some mountains up there now Soon we'll be back to the car. So we were up there, zigzag ridge, that's the bowl, and that's the peak, and then we went over to another peak and looked behind there. And we're back at the Tesla and we're gonna drive home now. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you've got some useful information from this. Uh, you can see from the track here, the first three, three and a half kilometers is reasonably flat. And then after that, it starts uh, climbing a fair bit up to the lake and then another gradual climb up to the ridge. Not too, too bad, but uh, definitely this is a harder hike in the winter time than it is in the summer, mostly because you're breaking trail in the winter because not a lot of people are using the trail. But uh, anyways, definitely worth looking at in the summer. The views of the glacier, the lakes, the colors, they're absolutely fabulous. The trail's in pretty decent shape for you know, maybe half of it. And then after that to the lake, there is some bushwhacking, but there are some plans to improve that 
definitely this is one of my favorite hikes. Uh, so many options to go camping in the uh, area behind the ridge there towards Capra Glacier. There's lakes there and it's just gorgeous. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and catch you in the next one.